Okay, this video is on calculating current using charge. So, here's the problem. If 100 coulombs of charge pass through a conductor in 10 seconds, what is the current flowing through the conductor? Well, let's see. So, this is the formula that you're going to use in order to solve for that. So, you have the current at some current at time t is equal to the derivative of the charge with respect to t. Or, you could just say it's the change in charge divided by the change in time which is equal to Q2 minus Q1 divided by T2 minus T1. So, let's see. Here, we have 100 coulombs of charge. And what we're saying is it's passing through here, which means that here, it starts here and it flows all the way through here. Well, and it takes it 10 seconds to flow through there. So, let's pop in the, those values, so the current at 10 seconds is going to be equal to Q2, which is 100 coulombs, minus uh, at, at Q1, which is starting at this point. Well, since there's nothing going through there yet, it's it's zero coulombs. All over uh, T2, which is 10 seconds, minus at the beginning, which well, here I had T2 is going to be equal to 10 seconds, and T1 is going to be equal to 0 seconds because at this point when it's starting out it's it's 0 so I designated 0 and that's what it is. Uh, so let's see minus 0 so that's going to be equal to 100 over 10 the zeros cancel and you're going to be left with 10 10 amps. So let's go on to the second problem. In this problem uh, we have if a conductor has 10 amps of current for 3 seconds determine the coulombs of charge that pass through the conductor. So again we're going to use this formula where it's the current is equal to the charge divided by the time. Uh, so here we have 6 amps and th for 3 seconds. So uh, actually it's the change the change in charge divided by the change in time which is the same as before. So let's see, so let's manipulate this. We're going to manipulate this formula and we're going to have the change in charge is equal to the current times the change in time. So now here we have T1, which it starts there, and then sometime later at T2, here you're going to have Q1 and then you're going to have Q2 here. So at Q1 you have a certain amount of charge that hasn't gone through yet, which is just obviously going to be zero. And at Q2, you're going to have the amount of charge that has already gone through. So here, T2 is going to be equal to 3 seconds, and T1 is going to be equal to 0 seconds. Q1 is going to be equal to 0 coulombs of charge because none has gone through. And at Q2, well, we don't know that yet. But we do know that, that going through this wire, we have a current of 6 amps. And, it's, and it flows for 3 seconds. So plugging those values in, you're going to get Q2 minus Q1 is equal to the current uh, times the change in time, which is T2 minus T1, and that's going to be 0, and that's going to be 0, so you're just going to be left with the charge is equal to the current times T2, and the current is equal to 6 amps, and the time is going to be 3 seconds. So Q2 is going to be equal to 18 coulombs. And that's how you solve that one. So that's how much charge you would have uh, flowing through any one point in this circuit or in this wire. Now let's go to number three. So if a hairdryer uses 300 coulombs of charge for every three seconds, what is the current used by the dryer? And all I'm saying here is that uh, let's assume that uh, this actually this will be the representation of the dryer and that you have 300 coulombs flowing through here for every three seconds so this would be T1 would be zero seconds T2 would be equal to three seconds but we can just ignore uh, T1 because it's just at zero so flowing through here 300, uh, 300 coulombs every three seconds so we could say that the, the current uh, at 3 seconds is going to be equal to 300 coulombs 
divided by 3 seconds. And that's just going to be equal to 100 amps. And that's how you would solve that problem. So I hope these problems helped you out, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like it. So have a good day.